over at the south, partial operations for the long-awaited Cebu bus rapid transit is set to begin before the year ends. Let's now get into details with our Cebu City-based correspondent, Dale Israel. He joins us live by Zoom from Cebu City. Dale, go ahead. Sam, uh, officials announced that Metro Cebu will start operating its first bus rapid transit system by December of 2021. Now, aside from a BRT system, a monorail system and a cable car will also form part of Cebu's integrated intermodal transport system, which are in the works under the Transportation Department and the Office of the Presidential Assistant for the Visayas, or OPAV. DOTR Secretary Arthur Gade is eyeing partial operability of the BRT by the end of the year. When he said partial operability, that means Cebuano commuters will be able to use four out of the 17 proposed BRT stations. The Transportation Secretary inspected this morning phase one of the bus rapid transit route, which spans from the South Road properties towards the Cebu IT Park, where most of the business process outsourcing firms are located. Meanwhile, OPAB's secretary, Michael Dino, said the monorail for Cebu will also be ready by first quarter of next year and will connect to the BRT system. There are no specific dates yet for the cable car, but Dino said the proposal from the private sector has been submitted to NEDA and the technical working group of the DOTR. Based on the plans previously announced, the cable car is expected to connect Mount Busai and other upland villages in Cebu City to the urban centers in Metro Cebu. Now, civil works have begun for the BRT. One of the expected developments will be the removal of center islands of the roads covered by the BRT route, such as those along Osmania Boulevard. Back to you, Sam. Daghang Salamat Dale, reporting live by Zoom with our Cebu-based correspondent, Dale Israel. And here's one for the road.